Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So I woke up this morning, uh, minutes to 10, and uh, you know, I was under a heavy dose of uh, remote neural monitoring. Uh, I got out of bed to make breakfast, and you know, they started with the sirens. I went to brush my teeth, I started with the sirens. Like again, every time I brush my teeth, if I close my eyes, they will use the sirens. Uh, you know, I go to eat, I start using the sirens, stuff like that. Went to take a shower. Okay, got into the bathroom. Uh, as I was stepping into the shower, start using using the sirens. Again, I want you to understand how coercive persuasion program works, okay? And particularly when you've been microchipped and uh, they are violating your intellectual property, which is your mind, okay? In order to uh prevent you or use the threat of the police so that you won't take a bath you won't eat uh you won't do the stuff again you know they're the one that's creating this kind of suspicious mindset within you based off of what they have done and what they continue to do all right so i understand how these things how these things work and how these things go all right this is what they do and uh it is something that they continue to engage in. And like I said, I will always uh, expose it. Because I know this is what, not, they don't have much to do this to me. But for people who don't even, who are unaware of what is happening, you know, how they are uh, emotionally manipulated, right? And psychologically manipulated, they have no idea, no clue, right? Very few people are able to uh, come to an understanding of what exactly is, uh, is taking place. Uh, press, yeah. Right? Very few, very, very few. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> and because they know that I know what it is that they have, they have done and they continue to do, is the reason why I'm under constant attack, right? When you understand and you know the truth, you're gonna be constantly attacked. But you gotta increase your knowledge base. You gotta increase your understanding of what is going on. You gotta learn their tactics, learn their manipulative skills, learn who they're using, right? So I talk about lately how they've been using a lot of Hispanic males and females. You know, it's, it's not surprising to me. You know, particularly last night, as I was talking to one of the guys in the bodega here. It's not, it's not surprising to me how they can manipulate people, how they can use people, right? Like I said, most people are not thinkers, they're doers, because we've been conditioned that way, right? So not only have we been conditioned that way through education, through television programs, to ads and advertising, right? But also through poisoning of our food, of our water, which takes away our cognitive ability to learn, to think, Right? And many of us don't want to believe that. You know, talk about how lately, you know, people in public housing have always been the test subjects, and not even the test subjects, but where you will find most lead poisoning, as in black towns and black cities across the United States. Right? And so now when they start addressing the lead poisoning thing, now there's a new form of poisoning they're using. All right? Arsenic. All right? So a lot of black people in public housing, particularly black women, of being poisoned with arsenic. Uh, arsenic or cyanide, something like that, one of those. No, I think it's arsenic, right? So, again, they will always, once you, I was gonna say, when you expose or you uncover what it is that they've been doing, there's a plethora of other ways that they have also engaged in it, either simultaneously or right after, right? So that's something we gotta understand. Okay, I read an article about how oh, uh, there's this this there's going to do a study on why black women uh, are forty percent more likely to die of certain cancer, right? Why why are they doing a study on this, right? Instead of holding uh, companies right liable for cr creating products advertised to black women that contain poison, poisonous chemicals, okay? But they're not going to do that because again. Population control. You gotta look at the bigger picture. Population control. 
right? More black women die of cancer than any any other group of women, right? More black pe- women put uh, dangerous chemical processes in their hair to straighten the hair, right? So we talk about the creation of, of a self-hatred, as Malcolm X says, who taught you to hate your hair? That you run, that you're putting dangerous chemicals, not only in your hair, but in your children's hair, right? See, this is one of the things that when I had a daughter, I told her mother, I said, don't, don't, don't you ever perm your hair. I said, if you perm her hair, you and I, we're going to have some serious problems and some serious issues. Okay? And she agreed. And I'm like, okay, fine. Up until this day, my daughter never had her, her, her hair perm. And she never will. I talk to my daughter all the time. I said, I said your, your hair is beautiful. It's gorgeous. You got the best hair. Right? Don't you ever put chemicals in your hair. Don't you ever uh, dye your hair all these colors looking ridiculous. Right? Teach your children as black people. Teach your children to love themselves, to love their hair, to love their lips, to love their nose. Right? And your turn, our children in the future will turn out to be better human beings for it. So, yeah. Like I said, we're not a, you know, those of us who understand, right, you don't, you no longer become a fear because you understand how they use fear. You understand how they weaponize us against each other. You understand that, you know, we die the youngest. You understand that more black women die of cancer more than any other group of women because of chemicals they put into these products so they can straighten their hair. And black women are killing themselves just to have straight hair like these white European people. They're literally killing themselves. By the time they're 40, 50, they hear it falling out. And we, because we perpetuate white beauty standard like no other. You get what I'm saying. All right? The so called Indian hair that they buying, that's bad luck here. Indian women, they shave their hair because when they go through a period of bad luck, they shave their hair. And then what do they do? <laughs> they, they, they sell it to black women. I'm not making this shit up. Go look it up. Right? We're so spiritual and so religious. But we're buying here. The black women are buying here from other group of women who are selling it here because they, they, they had some period of bad luck in their life. <coughs> right? That's how brainwashed they have us and our, and our women. That's how brainwashed. And they don't like the truth at all. They, they hate the truth. Right? They, they hate the truth. Right? 80% of black women are overweight and obese. And when you tell them to go lose weight, they, they tell you, oh, that, that's an insult. It's not, no, because we care about your health. Because we love you enough to tell you that you need to lose weight. Right? When COVID hit, who died the most from COVID? But unhealthy, overweight black women. The most. They're the one that died from COVID the most. Come on. Fuck out of here with that shit. Anyway, talk to you guys in the next video.